today we take a look at this uh, old printer it's a matrix printer an MT81 As you can see it's quite heavy and sturdy and on the inside uh, everything is it seems to be fine I, I think I've got it to work however I'm uh, now I want to check and connect it to a computer to do some actual uh, printing. For this, you need this uh, parallel port that is used for the communication. So I thought today we just talk about this parallel port a bit and how it works and a few things that I've tried to test the machine without even uh, um, without even connecting it to an adapter or anything like that. In fact. The uh, parallel port doesn't have a, a, a lower limit on the speed of the communication. It can be as slow as you want. And in fact, you can even try to uh, input the data manually, which is what I'm doing here. So the parallel port has uh, eight data lines, so one byte. This is connected to the blue switch. Uh, each micro switch is one bit. And then I have a button to enable the strobe input. As you can see, we managed to to print something. Now the, the, the ink is not installed, so there is not actually anything being printed. But you can see that we can get it to move. So first, I'm setting the data to an A, to an ASCII character A, and then I press the strobe button a few times to send this byte a few times. Then I change around the bits so that you get a carriage return signal. And then when I press the button, the carriage return causes the uh, printer to move. Now we need to install some ink. And this printer has this uh, cartridge that came with it. However, the cartridge is of course completely dry. Uh, what I did is I opened it and I uh, sprinkled in some uh, um, some ink that you just use like a stamp pad ink that I got at a regular store. I just spray it on top of everything so the ribbon of the cartridge must be installed in between the, the printing head and the, the paper. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to carefully place it uh, without getting all the ink on the paper. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing as before. I set the byte to A, press a few times the strobe button, and then I set it to carriage return, press once, and the printer activates. Now we can actually see what we have printed. And we've printed a bunch of E's rather than A's. So this is quite confusing. What happened here? Well, you see the difference between the A and the E is just one bit. And it's a bit that is also set in the coverage return. So what I think happened is that uh, one of the lines is misconnected and it's reading always as a one. And this is not a problem when we set the byte to carriage return because it is a one in that case. However, when we want to tra transfer an A, it, it becomes an E because then uh, one bit is set. So hopefully in the next installment of this video, I will show you a bit more how the printer works and how you can send data more quickly uh, from a computer rather than inputting in manually. But uh, for today, this is everything. Bye bye.